Good afternoon, I'm Cherry from Antipara Exploration, co-founder and lead for innovation. Antipara is an underwater geospatial mapping and analytics that uses machine vision algorithm to map out our postal. Submerged infrastructures are exposed to the harsh marine environment 24-7. They undergo corrosion, wave damage, and biofouling at a very fast rate. And industry spent millions of dollars for inspection and monitoring of these infrastructures. Current methods employ divers, which are safety risk. Work-class ROVs, which are very expensive and the observer ROVs, which lacks capabilities. That's why we created the shark scan algorithm. It is a machine vision algorithm that automatically analyze any ROV video and turn it into 3D models with defect measurement and other useful information. Our system can also be used for environmental monitoring and ass assessment like counting of benthic objects and change detection. Our competitive advantage is in our analytics. Our early adapter is the Verde Island Passage, which is, which is the center of the center of marine biodiversity in the world, where we signed five contracts amounting to 3.5 million, and three has been completed and paid, and two still ongoing. We provide solution to one of the UNDP sustainable goals, life below water. Our AI capabilities is not limited for inspection and monitoring alone. We need to balance the people factor for sustainability. Marine fisheries have employs 2 million fishermen and the Philippines has one of the most longest coastline in the world but our fishermen remains poorest of the poor. This year, we introduced a new vertical in seafood traceability for our fishermen, and we call it the Trivalli system, do not catch documentation. It is a simple app that can be installed in any Android phone and can work offline. It can automatically ID student species and estimate dimensions. This will resolve the problem of illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing in the Philippines. We will empower our fishermen with technology, help them where they are having a hard time. They call technology. High value catch for higher income. In Southeast Asia alone, there are 350,000 fishing boats that has given a yellow card warning by the European Union for non-compliance of traceability and documentation, and that includes the Philippines. Antipara is a deep tech startup that is the front runner in the Philippines. We empower Filipina leaders in the field of science and maritime businesses. Maritime is a male-dominated business, but that doesn't stop us from entering this market and being at par with the business boost in maritime. We are a women-empowered startup and has won significant awards, including the recent Singtel uh, Future, Making, Future Maker 2019. Uh, we have also undergone acceleration program in Singapore through Port XL Singapore. We are Antipara Exploration, providing technology for sustainability. Thank you. Now, how do you make revenue? Uh, for now, it's the mapping and uh, coastal assessment. The first one that I mentioned. But your Valley is a new product for us. So we're launching it this year. And we're partnering with one of the NGO, WWF, to launch this product. So, so can you expand a bit on that? So for your new product, what will be the business? Uh, it's subscription type. Uh, so for, for uh, the, basically,
basically it's a it's a system. We will install the system in a fisher fishermen association, mm -hmm. and the fishermen that is uh, registered in that association will download the app and use the app to document their fishing trip and also their catch. This is very useful for to the catch traceability. Okay. Uh, the the fishermen <coughs> association. <coughs> yes. Usually, uh, uh, fishermen uh, have a registration fee and a membership fee, and there we, they will get the money too. Yes. Maintain the. Uh, sure. My my concern now is the scalability thing, right? So number one, um, I would I would say there's some similarities to the drone market, right? So yeah. for the right? yes. you you do mapping on that. Um, there's a similar one in, in Malaysia specifically on palm oil, right? Yes. So you have you have that part with P 2 p and you're looking at the impact side. Yes. There's always going to be like the lesser evil. How do you make sure with the scalability aspect when you're doing two things at once? Uh, this is a complementary product. We 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 just not introduce a uh, business for uh, for buyers, but also for for our community. Uh, since uh, inspection, as we all know, and as we have identified when we did the acceleration program in Singapore, the maritime business and market is very big, and that is our sustainability market. But on the community side, we will also provide something, some technology that our people can use. I think um, just related on the impact um, because the issue is now traceability and um, and because you're trying to charge the fisher folks, is it something that they would be able to afford or to go to want to pass it on to like the exporters, the buyers? It's the association. Actually, like, yeah. How much do you yeah. see um, their let's say, income improving yes. if they make it more traceable? Does it make an impact? Uh, yes, because is it direct? right now uh, they're selling it in the black market. Which is very, which is very low, because they can't comply with the technology in traceability. When they go back to the port, their 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 catch will be uh, undervalued. So they rather sell it outside the black yeah, market. So I think this has to be more organized so that it, it can be as you said scalable. It's a yes. supply chain issue, yes. and I don't think um, the fisher port uh, at this time are ready. To just um, okay, they got this. Adopt. Yeah, I think it has to be um, yes. Work with the um, existing um, buyers, exporters, so that it can be more um, sustainable. Okay, that's the other market. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you.